my name is Ishan from Pacific Science Center, and today we are going to be talking all about sound and the physics behind sound. You might be wondering, well, what does physics, which normally you associate with electricity, and magnets, and all that, what does that have to do with with sound? Well, physics has everything to do with sound because sound is all made up of these things known as vibrations. Without vibrations, there is no sound. And that's why I love this little instrument here, the vibra slap. Because when I hit this instrument and make noise, you can definitely see those vibrations. That's what sound needs. And those vibrations will help create uh, some energy and transfer that energy through the air into your ears. If I hit a vibra slap, it makes, it makes this kind of sound. If I hit a tuning fork, it doesn't do anything. These tuning forks are typically designed for tuning your piano, making sure that your piano's notes sound just right. Each of these has the note, so this one might be a D, along with the frequency or how fast these tuning forks will vibrate every second if we hit them with a mallet. So my hand didn't do it before, but with these mallets, we can hear them. We're also going to pull up our frequency analyzer so that you can see the waves and you can see those vibrations in real time. Here we go. So this was a 288 hertz D. Let's hear what a 426.7 hertz A sounds like. This next one is a 512 hertz C. This next one is a 256 hertz C. Now you might be able to see a relationship between the 512 and the 256. And these are both C's. Let's see what this one looks like. Go back to the 512 again. And if you look at the frequency analyzer, you might be able to see that the waves for the 512 and the 256, there are twice as many of those waves that go up and down in the 512 than there is in the 256. And that makes sense because 256 times 2 is 512. With these tuning forks, they are vibrating so fast that you might not be able to see them with your eyes. But there is a way to show you that these are indeed moving. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strike these tuning forks and dip them into the water and we'll see what happens. I'm gonna try it both with this pretty long 256 hertz C and this fairly short 512 hertz C. Let's see which one might make more water splash. All right, that was all right. Let's try the 512. Whoa. Whoa. The 512 made a much bigger splash so in fact, some of the water spilled out of the container uh, with the smaller one. As we saw with the frequency analyzer, the 512C vibrates twice as fast as this 256C. And so you can see that because it's vibrating twice as fast, it will create more of a splash. There's a lot to do with vibrations, and anytime you hear sound or music, you are listening to some physics in action. It's really awesome. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.